All right, let's go to the 10 a.m. advisory here for Hurricane Ida. It is about to make landfall. It is about to make landfall. It looks like it's tracking uh, northwest. So let's just see what happens with New Orleans, which is right over here. It may miss out on the worst of this storm. We'll have to see keeps tracking west but we'll have to see we're not you know nearly out of the woods yet but this is <laughs> one hell of a hurricane look at this uh infrared loop here and uh i'll tell you that is quite a a, a symmetrical storm there quite a per almost a perfectly clear eye uh and uh, it's really in the prime before it makes landfall here is the visible satellite uh and you can see here again uh, there it is in the uh, right. Uh, it looks like it's going to be making landfall a uh, little, little more over like uh, trying to forget what the name of that area is, but it's going to be making landfall very shortly in southern Louisiana. Obviously, this area, Placamedes, is almost completely out of power already, not surprisingly. Um, let's go to the latest from the Hurricane Center. 10 a.m. advisory. Uh, I have extremely dangerous Category 4 Hurricane Ida nearing the southeastern coast of Louisiana. Catastrophic storm surge and hurricane force winds moving onshore. Its location 28.8 north, 90.0 west, about 60 miles west southwest of the mouth of the Mississippi River, about 85 miles south of New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, so if it's moving northwest, which it still is, uh, that doesn't take it directly over New Orleans. It shouldn't anymore. Nor maximum stain winds 150 miles an hour. Moving northwest at 13 miles an hour. So it's starting to slow down a little bit. Minimum central pressure 933 millibars. 27.55 inches. Um, and again, we will read this uh, at 10 a.m. The eye of Hurricane Ida was located by reconnaissance aircraft. And NWS Doppler radar near latitude 28.8 north. Longitude 90.0 west. Ida is moving toward the northwest near 13 miles an hour. A slightly slower northwestward motion should continue through this evening. A turn toward the north should occur by Monday morning, followed by a slightly faster northeastward motion by Monday night and Tuesday. On the forecast track, the center of Ida will make landfall on the coast of southeastern Louisiana within the hurricane warning area within the next few hours. Ida is then forecast to move inland over portions of Louisiana and western Mississippi Monday and Monday night, and move across the Tennessee Valley on Tuesday. Reports from NOAA and Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft located that the maximum stain winds are near 150 miles an hour uh, with higher gusts. Ida is an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Some slight additional strengthening is still possible. Uh, and then rapid weakening will occur after landfall. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 30 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward to 250 miles from the center. An elevated NOAA Seaman station at Southwest Pass recently reported a stained wind of 105 miles an hour and a wind gust to 121 miles an hour. A station in Shell Beach, Louisiana, recently reported a sustained wind of 44 miles an hour and a gust of 52 miles an hour. A NOAA National Ocean Service tide gauge in Shell Beach, Louisiana, recently reported a water level of 5.6 above feet above mean higher water, which is an approximation of inundation in that area. Uh, and the latest minimum central pressure reported by an Air Force Reserve or, 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 reconnaissance aircraft is 933 millibars or 27.55 inches. So let's look at that radar right now. We'll go to that next. And uh, you can see there it is, uh, again, making its way toward uh, Louisiana. If, if we, let's see if we can get the name. Yeah, it looks like it is going near Morgan City and Homa. Perhaps that is where the eye may wind up going uh, now. It looks like that's where it's heading, at least. Uh, not so much New Orleans. I don't think New Orleans is going to see the eye anymore. But still, um, New Orleans uh, is, is going to see these bands coming through. And it's going to be pretty rough. Uh, uh, when this all moves through. Uh, and uh, uh, the, like I said, this whole area is going to get inundated. Um, you know, and the rainfall also. You have the rainfall. And, you know, it's just it's incredibly... Uh, what an incredible storm to look at on the radar. Just uh, such... Uh, almost a perfect circle. Uh, quite 
something to see. Uh, let's look at some of these observations here. Uh, and uh, let's see what we've got here. So you can see here. You can see the eye right over around here somewhere. All right. And uh, here is West o Delta Oil Platform. Nor uh, southeast wind to 87 gusting to 106 miles an hour. All right. And it uh, looks like the greater New Orleans area now starting to see some of these strong winds. East northeast to 31 gusting to 53. Uh, Shell Beach, east at 45, gusting to 57. Um, another observation here we have another platform south, southeast wind to 54, gusting to 74 miles an hour. Uh, so this is going to be really bad, uh, as you see here. Uh, we have some more observations here for you. Grand Isle, southeast wind to 58, gusting to 77. And yeah, we already did the West Delta oil platform, so sort of in this general area here uh, is where the eye is. Uh, and it's going to be making landfall very shortly uh, into uh, Louisiana. So uh, this is uh, going to be uh, very catastrophic in this area. Uh, and again, we have uh, almost a complete blackout here in this part. <laughs> Everybody's going to lose power. Uh, just to give you an idea of what this area looks like. Uh, let's go to maps right now, and we'll just show you what it looks like here. And uh, so it's pretty flat over here. All right, it's all very flat, very flat area. All right. So if we look at what this area is like, you see it's very flat, and this is gonna easily flood. You can see it's just flat as can be over here. Um, and whether these power lines can withstand those kind of winds, I doubt it. Uh, I, I seriously doubt that they will. Um, again, this is sort of like what it looks like down here. We'll go a little further south, give you an idea of what it looks like here. Uh, and again, it's very flat. Um, and so this this whole area is just going to flood. All right. Uh, it is just going to flood in the and, the, and this is the end of the line right here, uh, pretty much southernmost point in Louisiana. Uh, this is all going to flood pretty darn easily. Uh, and that probably is already underwater. And then this is the other area that is going to get hit very hard over here. Uh, and some in these areas here, where again, um, that's a bridge. Uh, but uh, some of these other towns over here, like um, even this town here is a town here, yeah. Hurricane Hole. That's what it's called, Hurricane Hole. Grand Isle Beach is where it might want, may, might wind up making landfall. This is the kind of area that you're going to see this storm make a landfall at. Uh, and uh, this, is, uh, this is going to be a huge mess uh, for this entire area. A huge mess. Uh, and again, this is, this is going to be the first, and this is the substation, by the way. Uh, uh, energy substation so uh, that <laughs> those kind of winds I mean, this is all wood here I mean this is just gonna freaking be gone you have to rebuild this whole area probably this whole this whole well there's not gonna be anything left to power because you could see some of these poles are crooked from the, all the storms that have already occurred in this area so it's just to give you an idea of what it's like in this area so it's very just very flat uh, very uh very flat area right now. Uh, very flat. Oh, it's not. Let's go back to Louisiana. Get the latest in the power outages. Which uh, is the, so this area here is going to completely lose power, for sure. And like I said, that's going to be the least of their worries because the water is going to come in and pretty much inundate that area. Is um, you know, there's no protection at all, no levees, no nothing to protect people. So again, uh, it's the latest from the Hurricane Center. Uh, and uh, we will keep uh, track of this storm as it continues to move inland. Uh, but it looks like the eye is really close to it now. It looks like Grand Isle Beach, right where we were. That's where the eye is uh, going to be making landfall. So Grand Isle Beach is probably where we're going to start seeing uh, the eye start to come ashore here very shortly of Hurricane Ida in Louisiana.